Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Side Quest on Playframe. And welcome to this! Today we explore this! And whatever this is... We are able to go here now that the Great Rune, Mikola's Great Rune, has been discarded or lost, or... Who knows? But the way is open, and I'm very curious. That's a long way down. The fact that Mikola discarded Trina out here and that Mikola left a seal blocking the way here suggests to me we are going to find, if not Trina, then something Trina-related in this direction. We could probably make that jump, right? Are we allowed to... no, okay. Wasn't sure if Torrent was allowed. Hello? Well, you're not even, like, targetable. Huh. Jumps? What am I... What am I hearing? Oh, okay. Hostile now, huh? Okay. Fair enough. You like frisbee? Pretty sturdy. Pretty sturdy. Very sturdy. Congealed putrescence. Bruise colored putrescence that oozes from stone coffins, congealed into a large, viscous lump. Material used for crafting items, found underground in the land to where stone coffins drift. The putrescence is what remains of the impure lives kept within the stone coffins. Fascinating. And a shiny. This feels dangerous, but I have no other way down. Wait, there's a way down, which is slightly less deadly looking. Ah, you're down here. No. Very no. Gimme. St. Trina's arrow? Hmm. Careful. Hello. Ooh, you've got sleep status on your weapon. At least I think that's what that is. Is that new Blood Fiend's fork? It is. The spear. Used by the Blood Fiends. Three tines of carved bone spear the victim to provoke blood loss. 
a ritual implement for blood offerings to the formless mother. At times, the blood fiends will spill even their own blood using these forks. Did we have a thing that called out that they followed the formless mother specifically? Yet? I know that's a connection that I was already making. I can't remember if there was a description we found that explicitly said it. But if there isn't, now there is. So hooray. Any other shinies up here before I keep on finding a way down? No. Okay. Downward, then. And what is our best way downward? Yeah. That's fine. I see a ghost, but also this place is big, so something's gonna come out and attack me shortly. I'm guessing... Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just blood fiends. That's fine. I was expecting another one of those Erd Tree root things that I would really rather not fight again. These folks, though, them I can take, especially with this very big sword. I am a fan of the very big sword. Absolutely spoiled for choice with good weapons in this DLC. Goodbye. Gimme. Hello. Next. It's gonna be a long way down, I think. Boy, there are a lot of y'all. At least we can take you on mostly one at a time. Because one at a time, y'all are no biggie. There's two back there, so two at a time, but still fine. Especially if we can get the jump on one of you. Nope. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll do it this way. And now you've shouted, so you're probably less staggerable. Still a little staggerable, though. Oop. There we go. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Thank you for that. There's another cross. Heck yes. Very excited to read what this one says. And also hear from this ghost. Hello? Any thoughts you'd like to share? Kindly Mikola. I see you've thrown away something you should not have under any circumstances. How will you salvation offer to those who cannot be saved? When you could not even save your other self. This is very interesting. And I'm glad I came to check down here. Even though whatever's down here will almost definitely kill me a bunch.
Always happy for another of those. I abandon here my love. Getting increasingly ominous. Well, we couldn't get another Shadow Tree level, could we? No. That would have been a bit soon. Hmm. Wait. Something down there. Should look into this first. Whatever this is. There's goo. And... Nope. Not that way. This way, though. This leads to things. And the enemy types are changing a bit the further ahead I look. Now we've got more grave birds, slightly different looking ones. I think I even saw some of those little orb uh, enemy things further down that are usually guarding little jails and the occasional grave site. What do we got down here? Little cave? Shiny? Goo? Thanks for that. Leaving. Bye. I'll read that in a minute. Nope. Glad to have a place to farm. More goo, I guess, but, um, don't need it right now. Thank you. Hey, another of those. How did that miss you? Excuse me. Yeah, these little Orbeez. Still have all of that to look at over there, but, um... Is there more down this way, or is this the end of the trail? Hmm... Yeah, that looks like the end of the trail to me. Unless... wait... Where's this taking me? Maybe it's bringing me kind of back on track. Love the purple wings on these. Nope. Bye! Yeah, we're mostly, I think, back on track here. Let's go a little further just to make sure we don't miss anything. Hey, bird. Nope. No flying off. There is a shiny back here. So, okay, we picked up a thing or two. Like this. The Velvet Sword of St. Trina. Silver Sword of St. Trina now stained the color of velvet. Inflicts eternal sleep. 
When St. Trina was abandoned, the faint, light purple mists coalesced into an intoxicating, deep purple cloud. Releases a velvety purple mist that spreads across a wide frontal area, afflicts foes with eternal sleep, which is... Much stronger sleep. As a status, I'm guessing. The Scarlet Rot of Sleep. Cool. So, like... Sword of St. Trina existed in the base game, and it was basically a... Less potent version of this, I think. Cool, though. I'm glad that sleep is... Like, uh... Becoming more of a status effect, that there's more things using it now. And I am liking all of this very much. Y'all are cool, right? Y'all have generally been cool, like, unless... Well, I see some of you have decided to become not cool. Historically, y'all basically just sat back, didn't do nothing, or self-destructed. This is new. I guess maybe I never really attacked any of you who weren't hostile to begin with. How do we get up? Stop. Glad you can't really aim down. Yeah, these coiled up ones are going to self-destruct, I bet. Yep. That I remember. Anything? No? Okay. I have a feeling we are going to encounter... ...some... ...form... ...of whatever remains of St. Trina down here, and it's going to be a doozy. Thank you, shield. Who dares? Hmm. Kind of have a couple different routes here. Let's go this way. Hey! Yipes! Move. Oh boy. I don't think I'd ever notice their eyes opening. Unsettling. I don't even know if I'd ever notice they have eyes. Like, I knew they had the glowy little spot on their front that was kind of their face, sort of their eye, but I've not seen, like, an actual eyeball. Much more unsettling now. I never really thought to consider or question what these things were, and I still don't really know, I guess. But we are creating quite the ball pit down here. Oh, and one of them really, really has it out for me. Let's go around. Yeah. Hello. Um, what? Oh, you're doing sleep. Guess I should have expected something of that sort. With the wings.
This is all very cool. A little loud, though. That's enough. Finally, peace and quiet. At least until the next one spots us. Yeah, the eyeball... Unsettling. Here we go. Just taking that. Could jump down this way. I think that's where I was before. Yeah, I think that is where I was before. Now. Enough. Hmm. This is all so cool. Hello. Look out. All right. Well, next grace fire. Good, good. I appreciate the generosity with those. What's back this way? Ooh. Careful. Careful. Thank you. Still being quite careful. Now there's a way forward. And maybe the only way forward. Yeah. That way it is. Ah, hello. Are you sleep skeletons? You've got a different look about you. Interesting that there's those who live in death down here at all. Not like surprising, I guess, but I think these are the first we've seen down here. In this specific spot, anyway. What was that? Hey! What the? Hey! Oh, it was you. I was about to say, what did I hit that exploded? That was weird. Oh, right. Didn't finish the job. Silly me. I was distracted by exploding. Now that's a big goo. Giant putrescence slime. And smaller ones. Probably should fight it. There's also this route. Hmm. Have we used this almost at all, Golden Arts? Eh. Feels a bit less good than the, uh, discus. 
for efficiency. We can whittle these down. The bigger one, though, that may take a little bit more. That may require... Maybe some sort of pot to throw. How much HP you got in here? Eh, it'll take a while, but... It's getting the job done. We could also... See what kind of... Damage we get. It's not bad, honestly. Eh, this works just as well. Is this? Hang on. Yeah. Now I'm a little stuck. I was wondering, like, was I creating a path here? It does kind of act that way, doesn't it? I don't think that's... <sighs> Hang on. It kind of acts that way, like it keeps... Before I do anything else with that. Let's, let's look elsewhere, because it's not, it's not that much of a hazard. And if I like need it for something, I don't want to get rid of it. I probably don't need it for something, but okay. There we go. It is fun getting back to that colossal weapon life. Multi-layered ring of light. This... Reminds me of something. Incantation of those who served Mikola. Produces a multi-layered ring of golden light and fires it forwards, inflicting continuous damage on those struck by it. Charging extends duration and increases potency. This light-ringed incantation was cultivated by a tradition separate from Golden Order fundamentalism. Which one of the incantations was it that Mikola originally made and, like, gifted to Radigan? Might have literally been my frisbee. Yeah, yeah, it was. Discus of Light. Gift from young Mikola to his father, Radigan, produces a ring of light, fires it forwards. And then Radigan gifted rings of light back, which is like a wide area thing. I'm curious to see what this does. There's also triple rings of light, which is another gift from Mikola to his father. Also cool, but yeah, we'll have to see what this one does later. I got like several different paths going several directions right now. Yeah. Hard picking one. Okay. 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 I see another grace fire up there. So that's nice. And a lot more of these. Given there's a grace fire, this has got to be most likely the path forward. Which probably means I should grab it and double back. Yeah. Very, yeah. Hey, animals. It's hanging out. Are you all snoozing, or is this... like, reverence? It's 
cool, whatever it is. Okay. I've got that. Before we rest, let's go back. I want to see if there's another way to get up above that uh, slime. Or if I do literally have to use the slime as eh, careful, a step stool. Oi. Scary jumps. It's like, how else do you get up there? Maybe if I make it sleep. Given it's made of that stuff. Might not work, but, um... Yes, don't think I forgot about you. This brings me right back here. Okay. Okay. Careful jumps. Mass of putrescence. A spell. Sorcery originating from the putrid liquor of the stone coffins. Flings a great mass of putrescence that bathes its landing area in ghost flame. Charging increases potency. In an age long past, death was burned by ghost flame. Even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death. Hmm. There's a lot of very, very interesting stuff going on down here. Uh-oh. Run! Not now, slime! Nah. Whiff. Ow. Stop. Please knock it off, skeletons. You know, this all feels like, what if Tomb of the Giants wasn't miserable to go through? <laughs> It's going to be very interesting to go back to Dark Souls 1 someday and revisit that after not only the rest of the trilogy but Elden Ring being here I bet so much about Dark Souls 1 despite being pretty brilliant especially for its time I bet it feels wildly different these days Come on. There we go. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Thought they were hiding a secret back there. Maybe this is how we are going to get back to that spot where... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's fine. If anything, preferable to further troubleshooting. It is weird how it's like attached to this spot. It's a lot of stuff though. Okay. I feel like we might not be far from the end of this little cave. Might be wrong, 
but um everything around this grace fire seems very foreboding Okay. So... What do we got? Anyone? Ghost. Okay, um... Oh, please, grant me the courage... ...to fly to your feet, my dearest. Saint Trina. That seems like a hint. That we are to jump. And where we land, I expect... ...to be an arena. Curse Blade Mira will give you a shot. But if this is a fight, I'm not expecting to win first time. Here we go! We're going a long way down. Very long way. Oh. Definitely an arena. Lots of pretty flowers. Um. Well, maybe no one's home. Oh, what? Putrescent night. Hi. Whoa. Horse. What on earth? What a wild design! Maybe it's just the weapon, it's very much reminding me of Orphan of Koss. The goo horse is new, though! Goodness gracious. Wow. That is a wild thing. I love it. A little early. You have quite the reach on that thing. Yeah, shouldn't have gone for that. Got very punished. Okay. Yowza. What an incredibly weird thing. I love it. So, I'll stick with this sword. Let's stick with all of this generally. I don't know if I want to be using any spells on this. Like, maybe, but, um... Just a buff, I guess. Apparently, Golden Vow and Flame Cleanse Me are overriding each other, so... Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. And I won't summon yet, either. I'm still kind of trying to figure this one out. Now, is it going to attack me right when I drop down there this time, or...? Will I have time for buffs? Uh, it's giving us a minute. Nice of it. Nope, it's not. Okay, well...
A little later than I thought that was coming, but okay. Now to reach, yeah. And I can't mount up. Fair enough. Alright, you're no longer mounted, but that means the horse is gonna rush me. What a wild thing! The sword might be good for closing the distance a lot. Since it moves so much. Oof. Oh boy. Almost that same attack getting me again. Oof. Yeah, you delay those swings a lot. Where are the good openings? Not there. Not there. Yeah, I see a horse. How did I whiff? What a cool boss. Glad I can just sort of shield through a lot of this and figure it out. But we are having a status built up on us, and I'm not sure what. Might be the sleep. Which would be a good reason not to just sit here taking this punishment forever. That did nothing. No, no, there we go. Ow. Chill, please. Oof, boy, yeah, that explosion does not have a very wide AoE. Frostbite, that's what it is, I see. Ah, oh, almost got the heal in. <laughs> Whoa! So that's the thing to watch out for. <laughs> yeah, this thing's cool. Not sure this sword is what I want to go in with, though. I think... Blasphemous Blade is a maybe. Hammers, a maybe. I like the thought of this one, actually. This one, and then maybe fiddling with talismans slightly. Maybe... Yeah. Yeah. If it's hitting me with Frostbite a lot, I feel like fire could... Do some good work, especially if that skill is boosted. Yeah, I like this as an idea. Let's get rid of the uh, spell here that I'm... Well, let's hang on to it a little longer because I'm not... I didn't really give it a fair chance. And I don't think I'm going to be using much for spells in this fight anyway. Where's the other new one we just got? Yeah. Not to use now, just to use, like, later on. This also feels like a Tish scenario. To me. 
Yeah. Mira will get their chance later. I got a good feeling about this one. I think a fire sword is going to do some fine work, and also from range when needed. The thing does move around a lot, so finding the openings where I can actually hit it with this will be tricky, but... Got a good feeling. Ooh, I know what spell I should bring next time. The, uh, one that does a slight bit of fire damage to me, because that'll also clear the frostbite status effect. Let's see how you do. And let's also see how this does. You're gonna be hard to hit with this. But it's got potential. Yeah. Hey, horse. Yeah, it's fine. Focus on me. Let Tish do Tish's thing. It's hard to tell how much damage I'm doing per hit because Tish's is doing great, but together we're doing very impressive work. Yeah, I think mine's actually also doing very well. This is not all Tish. Ow. Here comes the big one. Get ready to move. Ow. Has a lot of fire. Okay, heal up fast. Fast! Oh, boy. Whew. I, I can probably block some of that. What is the pattern? That's a wild one. Maybe you can jump over some of it, too. That's probably something you can jump over. I'll try both. I'm loving this boss, though. I'm loving that well over a hundred bosses into this video game, they are still managing to throw types of bosses at me that completely throw me for a loop, that look and act so different from everything else they've already done. That's legitimately impressive at this point. Where'd my runes go? There they are. Tish, help me out, will you? I'm going to need it. And you were doing great. All right, time in. All right, horse. There you are. Nope. Nope. Fire! Whiff. Dare interrupt me. Again. Teach is doing great. It's about time I started contributing, though. Stop missing. There. Yeah, no, that does a lot of damage when it connects. Regular attacks would probably do great, too. But, okay. Yeah, jumping's fine. Ah, gotta jump better, though. Okay, gracious. That's nasty. We need to take you out. Goodness gracious. And I can block it as well. That's great. And there goes Teach, so... Time for me to finish the job myself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Regular hits, okay. Oof. Come on. Almost had the shield up. All right, we can definitely take this thing. I am figuring it out. I don't think I'm going to have presence of mind enough to remove the frostbite effect. And I think it would be a fool's errand trying to fiddle with spells and equipped weapon and all that 
in order to try. Let's just try to not get enough frostbite build up in the first place for it to hit. And Tisha's distracting it a lot, so that's doable. Okay, first you. Not enough MP for a spell, that's fine. Need to go grab this anyway. Okay. Ow. Yes, I was about to say, I'm ready now. Yeah, oh yeah, it's like 2600 in one big attack when I can land it, which is not easy. Woof. Now! Choosing bad times to roll. I'm gonna get you! I'm going to get you. Tish is going to do most of the getting, to be honest, but I'll help. Ow. Yeah, that's right, give me a second. Thanks for buying me a minute, Tish. As always, you're the real hero here. And one more horse, okay. Now, opening. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Here comes the big one. Jump. Jump. A little late on the jump, that's fine. Dodged two out of three and that feels good. Oh boy. Still gotta look out for that though. Almost gotcha. Ha ha, you missed. Teach gotcha, yeah, there we go. What a cool boss. Remembrance of Putrescence. Good fighting, Tish. You did most of it. I just got in two or three very, very, very big fire hits. Glad I figured out the fire weakness. Whew! Man, that was cool. Remembrance of the Putrescent Knight hewn into the Shadow Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. All tainted flesh eventually becomes putrescence and this clump of it imbibed St. Trina's nectar, which granted it eternal rest, and so it was that Putrescence became her knight. That's so cool. Look at, just look at that design. Look at that art for this thing. It's incredible. Just incredible. And there's further down... Might only be a little further, I'm not sure, but, um, just in case. Let's call it. I'll see you all on Thursday for whatever is down there. Take care until then. Goodbye.